welcome back. Uh, in the last tutorial, we were showing you how to create a forest quickly in Cinema 4D. Um, I'm using Arnold as the renderer, and this one we're going to take the uh, Forester extension to the next level, or I guess just to a different level, and talk a little bit about grass. So, um, same thing as before. I've got my uh, got my scene here. It's a, a plane and an Arnold sky. Um, I'm not looking at my uh, IPR window, but let's go ahead and let's just dock this guy over here and apologize that it's going to be a little bit small at times, just trying to make everything fit. But um, So under my extensions under Forester, I can also go and grab something called a Multiflora, which um, by default is small and this untextured little little guy here um, but the same thing as the forester trees we have just almost too many parameters that we can come in here and mess with um, so first just looking at multiflora global um, I'm gonna pull this all up a little bit so you can see it better um, we've got you know different seeds um, we have a global size and growth um, that I don't think we need to mess with too much. Um, but just like before, we also have this massive library. So depending on what kind of grass you want to grow or if you want to have a wheat field, um, let's just uh, pick something uh, that we probably would see you know, more in nature, like maybe this, let's try this Hulkus, whatever this is. Um, but now we've got this guy sitting right in the middle of our plane. I uh, haven't done anything much to it. Um, same thing as before, we have the hyper wind ability here to uh, you know, have this blowing field. So this could be something you could use in your foreground as you kind of move a camera slowly through this plant or, and other plants or sweeping across a vista or something. Um, really cool feature. Um, and then under grass, uh, we can do a lot of things with the uh, with the size and the length very quickly um, and the width if we want to make this thing super thick um, we can kind of randomize the grass length to get have different shoots of it um, so yeah there's a ton in here that I haven't even begun going in and tweaking and perfecting um, but same things before, um, we can also come in and grab a multi-cloner and use our plant the same way. Uh, we just have to tell the uh, multi-cloner which geometry we wanna distribute on and right away, um, we've got a sparsely populated um, field of Hulkus. Um, in our uh, multi cloner, we can just come in here and uh, straight away change the number of plants that we have. Um, right now, the clone count is set at 100. Let's just jump this up to 1,000, and now it kind of looks like a you know like a snow field with plants popping through. Um, but you could obviously add like a, just a simple grass material underneath that, or a, you know, patchy brown kind of material to give it a different look and feel, but um, yeah, super quick. And then all we, if we wanna just change this right away, let's just go back into our grass library. And let's just say, this time I wanna use more of a traditional um, like wild grass. Um, so, you know, we're kind of lacking in coverage. Uh, so we can come in here um, let's see, and go into our grass and change the patch radius. So now we kind of have this much larger patch um, to sp spread out and, you know, up to size a lot, you know, just depending on kind of what your, um, what your dimensions are of the scene that you're building. But, um, and then obviously we can come back into multi-cloner and all right, I want to cover this field so let's just go up to like 4,000 
grass and just kind of multiply that by four. And now we've got probably enough grass to, to make it look like a believable um, field here. And if I just, again, undock this, you can really just kind of see yourself as I zoom in. You know, this, that it maintains that detail when you get very close to the uh, to the plants themselves. So, um, yeah, just has been another quick tutorial, um, kind of walking through all the things that the Forester plugin has to offer. Again, it's a three hundred fifty dollar plugin, and it works with um, seems to work well with Arnold. Looks like it works well with Octane and Redshift, and and even Physical Renderer, um, V-Ray. So. Uh, no matter what you're using, um, this is a plugin that you're going to probably want to add to your, to your skill set. So uh, thanks for watching. Keep uh, Stay tuned in for the next one.